Hi everyone, Adam with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Brightway 12 volt smart charger and it's going to be great for charging all sorts of different things. We can do our RVs here, even just a simple car, any type of boat with the battery, or even those trailer breakaway systems that you may have on your trailers. It's going to be a smart charger as well, so it's going to make you think less. You just got to basically plug it in and watch it work. So all we really need to do is plug it into an outlet and you're going to see a couple lights indicate here. And now we can go ahead and connect to our battery here. And what it's going to do, it is a smart charger, so it's going to evaluate the percentage of what your battery is at currently. It might take a little bit of time. So we do have about 80% on our battery and that is going to lead us to the normal charging setting. Basically that's just going to be your maintenance charge and that's just going to get it up to that 100%. There's a couple different things we could do if it was really, really cold out. We do have a little snowflake down here. We will change it to that mode and it's going to adjust according to the weather. So it does have a safety feature that is going to shut it off after 60 minutes of it charging. So if it doesn't charge your battery and you come out and it's not on, that's just the safety feature at work. And basically what that's going to help do is just prevent that overcharging that you get and that's going to damage your batteries. So with the safety feature, it's actually going to prolong the life of your batteries. So we're going to let this charger sit for a couple minutes, maybe about 10, 15, and come back out and make sure it's at 100%. And there we go, we got 100% charge here and it actually didn't take a whole lot of time because this battery is still in great condition. So I hooked our charger up to my Tahoe here and it did read up to 50%. So that's not necessarily ideal, but it's still gonna be charging and this is gonna be the bulk charging stage. So it might take a little bit longer than our lawnmower. So you might have to come back out and after 60 minutes it will shut off. So we might have to reconnect it to the battery to get it through a whole nother cycle. But it is a good battery and if you wanna know how to figure out if you have a bad battery, your 25% light is gonna be blinking. So we didn't have that, so we do know we have a good battery, so we don't have to go to the store and grab a new one. It's just gonna take a little bit longer to charge. So if we do have a bad battery, what's gonna happen is, we'll show you real quick. Basically, we're gonna get a blinking error code, and that just means it's a bad battery, and you should probably just go ahead, take this to the store, change it out for, you'll get about 10 bucks for the core, and grab yourself another battery. So our recondition mode here, is basically going to help out with those batteries that have that sulfate buildup on the inside, but they are still recoverable. So if you have a battery like that, just put on that mode there and it's gonna give you 15 to 25.7 volts. And it's gonna be a pulse charge and that's gonna break up that sulfate buildup. And for your lower power items, maybe like a golf cart or something like that, you're gonna use the supply mode and that's gonna be a little bit smaller charge. It's gonna give you about 13 to 13.6 volts at 2.5 amps to charge those smaller power items you may have. So we are gonna have two different supply lights. The one at the bottom is going to be which one is in our memory. So basically what that means is if I disconnect it, it'll shut off and then I'm going to reconnect it real quick. And basically what that's gonna do, it's gonna save it into that setting so you don't have to change the mode every single time that you connect it to your battery. So we are gonna have some options when it comes to connectors. We have our clamps here, but we're also gonna have some ring connectors. So what I would use this for on my mower here, I can actually connect it to my mower and keep it on there. So whenever I come into my garage and park it, all I really have to do is just disconnect our clamp section, put that to the side, and then all I have to do is basically just plug it in to my mower. It's the same connection as the clamps, and then it'll be charging it right away. So if you have a machine that you plan on charging pretty regularly and it stays in your garage, these would definitely work for that. The power cord is gonna be about six foot long. I am using an extension cord because all the outlets that I have in my shed are way over there. So that's something you want to keep in mind. We are going to have mounting holes for it as well. On each side, we're going to have two of them. So if you wanted to permanently mount this into your garage as well, you can do that. 
So with Brightway's smart charging technology, you don't really have to worry about what you're hooking it up to. As long as it's 12 volt, you have enough modes to be able to charge everything properly, whether it be a side-by-side, -side, lawn equipment, a car, or even one of your nicer vehicles you may have. You don't have to worry about all of that. You just hook it up just like normal, choose the right mode, and you're ready to go.